Hey guys, welcome to this long-awaited Shein haul. I feel like it's mostly long-awaited for me because I've been hanging on to all of this stuff. Let me show you all the stuff. Oh, I've got this giant bag filled with clothing from Shein. So if you want to see what I've gotten, keep watching. But here's the quick little introduction. If you're not subscribed, if this is the first time you see my face, Hi, I'm Lachelle. I don't actually usually film sit down videos, although it is gonna happen more in 2022. If you click on one of my other videos and you see a more crusty looking version of all of this put togetherness, that's still me. I mostly film vlogs and kind of lifestyle stuff. So I walk around without my bra on, I walk around in my basic uniform, which is like t shirt and a panty, and I don't wear makeup in vlogs very often. So get used to this because you're not really gonna see it that often. Those of you that have been around for a while, you know, you know the uniform. Let's get into all of the stuff that is not even remotely close to my basic uniform. This is the personality that I want to have. It's in this order and it's coming in future orders as well. I'm literally doing another order this week, so look out for that. Also, if there's any other brands you want me to do a haul from, like, I'm thinking Fashion Nova, what do we think? Pretty Little Thing, maybe? I don't know. I can also do some local brands as well if you want, provided that they are size inclusive, because we all know a lot of brands like to just, I carry up to like a large or a size 12. No, babes, no. If you're from America, I don't mean an American size 12. I mean, for you guys, that would be a 10, an 8. It would be an 8. That's what brands are saying. We're size inclusive. We have a large. No, honey. That's not size inclusive. That is the reason why I have done some shopping with Shein. And guys, there are some gems in here. I have jeans. I have sets. I have a blazer that closes. I know. I know. Okay. Let's do it. These babies have been on my stories and you guys are asking. Let's open them up. I will put all the names on the screen i'm not going to chat through customs because my first Shein haul i chatted through all of that kind of stuff it's long it's in depth you can go and look at that if you want to if you're from south africa and you're like but how am i going to get this into the country it's all in there so we're just going to talk clothing today these are glorious they look so good on me i'm just warning you they look incredible on me the one thing i do know about these Shein jeans is that they almost always, here yeah, I am doing them up because I wore them this week. They always have like a jingly button. Like the button when it's not done makes that sound. And that makes me feel like they're cheap. I mean, they are, they're affordable. They're affordable, what are we gonna say? They don't feel cheap otherwise. They have this beautiful rip over here on the thigh, which I've never done before. I did worry that like, I was gonna have a random fat pocket that was gonna pop out over there, but hasn't happened. It's been glorious. It's beautiful. They have rips on the knees. It's a wide leg. It's the Avril Lavigne days coming back, except I'm not gonna get, let them get ripped at the bottom like I used to when I was a teen, wearing the wide legs. These guys, I'm not even joking. I am snatched in these jeans, and that's not a word that I would usually use. I think it's kind of like maybe the third or fourth time I've used it. And I think every other time was in reference to these jeans because I look incredible go and get them now go buy them you will not regret it these jeans are a 1x i looked at the reviews to figure out what size i would be and last time i ordered out with 3x it was way too big i think i was either having like a moment of panic but those are a 1x and they are beautiful on me i mean chef's kiss i can even imagine them with this top let me get that hmm, okay i've got an outfit coming with these jeans guys just get them. Add them to your cart now, because otherwise you're gonna cry when they're sold out. I might actually go buy a second pair, or like a different color, because I cannot be without those. They're beautiful. Let's do a basic item. This is a very simple little lettuce neck and sleeved crop top. It's got these cute little lettuce trims on the sleeve. It's a cat sleeve as well, which is very outside of my comfort zone, but because I've gotten some new tattoos and I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I got this and I like the little lettuce mock neck as well. These are fun with the jeans I've worn those together. Show a little skin on the stomach because even if you are middle plus size, why shouldn't you be able to show your stomach, to show your ass? It all looks great, let it out. This little ribbed lettuce number is a 2X and it fits quite snugly on the body exactly the way I wanted it to. So it, Honestly, item to item, sizing differs. Great purchase, super affordable. It feels nice, it doesn't feel cheap, you know? 
One thing I do always hate about Shein is all of the plastic. Why does everything have to come in its own little baggie? The baggies are going to be thrown away. I never reuse them. Although I could reuse them to ship out my stuff that I sell on my Yaga store. So if you want to buy some stuff because I have a cupboard full of clothing that I have cleared out to make room for all of this gorgeous stuff. This green set is an absolute dream. This is like that Bottega green that was going around mid to end of last year and I cannot get enough of it. It's a long sleeved, almost like crepe paper, tissue paper looking fabric. It doesn't feel cheap. I was expecting a lot of this to feel cheap even though I've done a Shein order before. So I'm hoping that combined with my review, sizing references, plus all the reviews on each product page, you guys are gonna find your exact size. You're gonna get a whole order of things that you absolutely love. One thing I will say, quick tip, very quick tip, although I've spoken a lot already, read every single review. Don't buy an item if it doesn't have reviews on it. It's not worth the stress, it's not worth the drama, it's not worth spending your coin on. If you're gonna get an item that doesn't fit well, rather just trust the people, buy the things that are well reviewed. This set, gorgeous, it comes with shorts. It's not too little actually, like a mid, a mid thigh situation. I feel very comfortable in them. There's no chafing happening with these shorts. I love the color. They're super fun. And it just feels like I've made more effort than I have. You can dress it up or down. I've done it with my Birkenstocks. I've done it with loafers. I've done it with little kitten heels. If you want to do a, a beautiful, like slick situation, a glossy lip for a night out with heels, this combo could look so beautiful and you can also snatch the waist. There's snatch again. Snatch the waist if you tuck the shirt in fully, although I like to kind of let it sit quite easy breezy for these very hot summer months. I also just pop the shorts on over my costume when I go to the beach. I just feel like this is an absolutely flawless outfit. So this green set I have in a 2X. It fits beautifully. There's still space around the stomach. I went for this knowing that I wanted it to be quite loose and not hugging in any areas. I like that that is oversized and comfortable. Ooh, this is a very exciting one. Oh my gosh. I was clearly feeling like I need a little bit of sexy vibes. I know, I know, I know when I placed my order I was feeling that because this is very different to anything that I had ever worn in my entire life, including lingerie. This is that classic TikTok Shein situation. When I try this on, you guys are going to see a lot more of me in this region, but I'm trying to be okay with being sexual and also being strong and powerful and like independent and an entrepreneur and a business owner and all of those things, along with being able to show the sisters looking glorious in this number. So this is like a chocolate brown little booby situation. I don't, I don't have big boobs. I think this is a good top for people who have large sisters, like medium to large sisters, and they like to get them out, not in a, Actually, each to their own. If you want to do it in a sexual way, go you. Love that for you. Do your sexual awakening. I am learning to be more comfortable with this kind of thing. So it's taking a lot for me. But you will see in the cutaways how it's worn. It's kind of crisscross in the front. Like framing the sisters with this boning in the front. It's got wire at the bottom to lift everything up. But I would say that these tops kind of fit better for people who have bigger boobs. I find that they just, I have to be very intentional about like making sure that they're all tucked in and this is a boob tape situation. I did buy boob, did I buy boob tape? I feel like I bought boob tape. I must check in this order, I haven't looked at the bottom of the bag. I feel like I bought boob tape specifically so that I could wear something like this and feel comfortable, but it's really cool. I have this in a large, love it. I haven't worn it yet, so I'm still plucking up the garage. Outside the house that is, I've worn it inside the house for myself to just like marvel and be like, oh, I am that girl. That woman, not that girl, that woman. This I also love, I was so excited to get this. It's like a beautiful Van Gogh painting but on a mesh long sleeve. I envisioned this being something that I could use as a layering item because it's, it's see-through. I'm not playing games, it's see-through. But I really like the way modest dresses kind of layer light fabrics together. And this is very kind of lighter than tissue paper. This is something else. This is like mesh. This kind of reminds me of that guy, lady, I'm uncertain, I'm still uncertain. It's years since 51st Dates came out. You know that guy in 51st Dates? It's not that guy. It's not that guy. There's the lady, guy, lady slash man, non-binary. I don't know. 
there's that person and then there's the brother who wears that like mesh top situation even though this is not really like that it does it does give me that vibe it's giving me the vibes i don't know what to tell you so this is so beautiful i love it i love it so much i've laid this under simple ribbed black dress love that it just it's giving vibes this i have in in a 1x and it's a little bit cropped i could wear it with jeans if i'm feeling bold one day i can envision this in winter because i cannot get away with it in summer it's too hot a nice pretty little bra underneath and then maybe a blazer over the top with tailored trousers this guy for a little bit of interest with the fun or just black bra and then a blazer beautiful Here's one thing we must know about summer is gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear shorts, even if they feel uncomfortable, even if they are plus, mid-size, whatever size you are, we are wearing shorts this year because there's no reason that we need to be chafing there in the leg situation, wearing a dress, wearing a maxi, wearing long sleeves. No, 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 no. We're wearing the shorts and these. I, I don't know. It has to be the right day for me to wear these. I don't know what I was thinking when I got these. It's kind of giving identity in 2008, 2007. Because there's a lot of rips on here. Like there's a thigh rip, there's rips at the bottom. It's distressing. There's, there's a lot happening on these shorts. But I actually quite like them. Depending on the day and what I'm wearing with it, I could look a little bit Duck Dynasty. If I was wearing like an army cap or an army top, it's solid duck dynasty and also one thing i struggle with is sometimes people it's in my head and it's also online and it's society i have to get used to it i have to get used to it i'm forcing myself the other day i wore this because i went to a fitting and i was like i'm gonna be that model the plus size model that wears what a slim woman would wear a slim model would wear and i wore a black ribbed tank no bra and then these shorts and my best cap i looked wonderful i loved it i just had to have the confidence to wear it on the day so on the day i wear these i have to be in the right mood but they are stretchy they're pretty good quality actually i have to say they are in a 2x there's room to move i can stretch i can move i can spread my legs in it you have to get the reference for that and they're kind of mid thigh kind of lower 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 to the knees i really do like them and now i'm wanting to buy some more shorts because i have these and some others and i'm now i'm on the shorts game i need to get a black pair that's not distressed you know it could look good especially if you're someone that's not used to wearing shorts or you haven't found shorts that work specifically in south africa then get those this is another piece that oh oh my gosh i don't know when last i've worn a faux no, I bought faux leather pants, like a straight leg pants from H&M two years ago. I absolutely love them. It has to be very cold for me to wear them, but they're beautiful and they look great. And I don't know when last I won a mini skirt, but <laughs> your girl bought a mini skirt. Also, I said your girl. I bought a mini skirt. It has two slits. Again, I can see it working so well with this top. I mean, what a vibe. What a vibe. So it has a little zip on the side. I have the skirt in a 1X. Again, I read the reviews. It's got two slits, one on that side, one on that side. I tried it on in a vlog. It's the vlog coming up after this. Watch that, you guys are gonna love it. There's so many of these pieces in that vlog. I would probably wear this with stockings, pantyhose, like a sheer sort of pantyhose and loafers just to kind of make it a bit more grungy and fun and a little bit less sexy. But on the days that I want to feel sexy, I could do this and then the brown situation with the boobs. I don't know if I'll ever get there, but like, I want to be that person so badly. This skirt is glorious. I've just got to say, it looks amazing on me. I haven't seen myself in a mini skirt in many, many years. And I feel like I'm going back to like grade nine when I say many, many years. So that's a very long time because I am 29. 29? 29? It's giving lava lamp, but the 70s version, well, the lava lamps were big in the 70s as well, and they were big in the 90s, they just keep going back. This has a lettuce trim on the neck and then also on the sleeves, like the white one, and I absolutely love it. All Shein things have a smell, you just gotta get over it, and let it air out, give it a wash before you wear it. An amazing layering piece, even in summer, on a little bit of a cooler day in summer, but definitely in winter, 
wonderful for layering underneath dresses. There's some dresses back here. Okay, I, sh I wouldn't layer it under any of those dresses, but I'd like to find a way to layer and not feel sweaty and hot. So I got a couple of these, well, this and the Starry Night one, the Van Gogh one, but I love her. What size is she? I haven't tried this one yet, actually, so I'm very excited. This is a Zero X. I'm apparently just going from one end to the other. I'm just, I'm picking any size that I want for these items, so we'll see how that fits. This is another piece that I haven't tried on yet, but this is giving like patchwork but like elevated patchwork you know i'm not i'm not shopping my granny's closet although i would like to shop my granny's closet but she's a very skinny lady this i got in a 3x see really jumping around in terms of sizes i don't know if i meant to buy a 3x maybe people said it fit quite small and so i went for a 3x i don't know that's cute with jeans with the little mini skirt could look very cute as well i like it it's not too cheap it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels about as normal as like a cotton on ribbed little toppy that's nice i like her and i like the black detail i feel like it gives it a little bit of something extra it doesn't look like i'm wearing my top inside out you know skirt this is cute i've been wearing this quite a bit actually even though it's quite thick it's like the height of summer at the moment but i've still been wearing this this was the one piece that i felt looked a little bit cheap and i think it's just because of the fabric choice and then the print on it i don't know why it just gives me cheap vibes but but it's still a nice piece like i've definitely been wearing this it's got a little slit on one side and it is definitely longer than i expected it to be but i think that's just because i'm short so things are longer on me i had this in a 2x it definitely has room to move room to grow because growing is not a bad thing and i wish the slit came up a bit more so i might take this to a tailor to have them take it up a bit because I look a little bit like Nanny McPhee when I wear this depending on the day depending on the way makeup I think this needs to be taken up but I I like her she's cute I wear it with oversized knits with a little t-shirt this and that that's quite fun although you'd need a little bit of skin showing at the top and loafers I can see that being a good outfit I like that a dress fun print I was going for fun and print and color with this order and you can see it this guy this is this is a cheap fabric i'm just gonna warn you it's a cheap fabric but the dress is glorious the fit from here to here i think my body is short i mean it's short everywhere if i'm being completely honest it's short everywhere but all dresses with this elastic situation they all slip off my shoulders and i think that maybe this is just too short so i either need to get that replaced or cut a little bit off there i'm not gonna do it myself because i can't sew to save my life but i like this it's got elasticated sleeves on the end elasticated at the top over here and then also the back is fully elasticated so that's really nice for going up or down sizes if you want to feel comfortable i quite like having something elasticated on the back because i feel like i can breathe a bit more i think with the zip sometimes i feel very claustrophobic and if i breathe properly i'm just going to burst out of it like hulk i like the square neckline you could also wear it off the shoulder this fabric is definitely quite cheap feeling and i, I do tend to get a bit sweaty in it but I can work around it because it's a really beautiful dress. It looks really good on me. I wore this around Christmas time because it's just Christmassy enough. There's a little slit on the side. It's a midi dress. And I think it cuts me at the right angle. It's not too long. This one is great. And I have this in a... Where's the size? Why must I fight you? No, girl. I can't find a size, but I will put it on the screen somewhere here so that you guys can see what size this is last clothing item and then i've got accessories including phone accessories you can already see the color this is another piece that i i feel like i tried this on for my sister i got my shein order and i was facetime my sister and i was like okay we're doing a trial midway through december and it's now the end of jan i don't even remember i didn't try on the pants it's a dusty dirty pink with a brown check and it is a two-piece suit this set is wonderful it's very far outside of my comfort zone just because of the kind of color and the attention that it might bring but i am trying to push myself to go outside of my comfort zone and to enjoy color because that's how i feel on the inside and i want to be able to represent that on the outside without having to say any words like you can see my personality by the way that i dress and i feel like i've gotten i've gotten out of that a little bit and i want to bring that back i want to be able to show my personality with the clothing i wear and not feel defined or confined by my size there are shoulder pads and the blazer 
and I've already checked I can tie it which is very 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 foreign to me a lot of blazers don't really allow for that there are beautiful tortoiseshell buttons but they're still plasticky they're not fancy tortoiseshell and I have this set in a 2x it is elasticated on the back, which makes it feel a little bit less premium, but it also makes it more comfortable. So I'm all for the elastic on the back. As far as the reviews go, I don't think they have pockets. That was definitely one of the gripes I remember. People were saying they wish that this the suit pants had pockets because it would just give it a nicer shape when you're posing or standing or, you know, just in general, we need pockets. We need to put our things somewhere. We don't always want to carry a bag. So these pants, I'm hoping they fit well and that the blazer combo goes well together. I just, I have high hopes, I'm very excited. It does have belt loops, so if you wanna pop a little fun belt in there, you could. I got a bag, I got a fun bag. This is like one of those like Instagram bags, bags that people on Instagram have. I don't, I've never found myself to be one of those people, like to have the very trendy items. Just because I, I don't love Zara, I don't like going into Zara. I just, Zara is depressing for me, so I never go in there. But this I can, I can get my hands on, and I really like the tone. It's actually quite similar to the set I'm wearing right now. I like the quilted front. I think it looks quite premium. Oh, so one thing I forgot to say about that suit is it does feel a little bit cheap, but I haven't put it on my body yet, but just on my fingers, how cheap. Anyway, back to the bag. I have sorted out the strap so that it's shorter because I like to wear it like that. It does also have a long handle. Well, it comes long like this and I just looped it through so that I can have a little under the shoulder, 90s number. It's not, Oh, damn it. I'm busy, Sean. Stop calling me. Go away. I can't talk to you. Stop calling. Ah, there we go. He's gone. Okay. It's not the best quality bag. Like, it does, it feels cheap. I'm going to say it. It feels cheap. But I can see that there are, like, holes in the corners inside the bag. Like, nothing's fallen out. But, like, don't put a pin in the bag and expect it to be there when you come back because it will fall through those little holes. It's not the best and like most well-made bag, but like, what are you expecting? I'm not expecting exceptionally well-made. I really like it. I've been using it a lot actually, and I feel like it's it looks a little bit more premium than it actually is. And I like the gold hardware. This was a free gift. I doubt it's going to fit because it's. It, I think it was a one size fits all with the belt, and one size does not fit all. Exciting. Okay. Actually, there's something else in here as well. I forgot about these guys. Okay, I also got these nipple, not nipple, areola covers in the shape of daisies, and I think they're really cute. I thought they were good for wearing with that mesh top or those mesh tops in case I don't want to wear a bra. I'm very much like on the free the nip vibe at the moment. Why must I be restricted and uncomfortable? So these guys are great, and then I also got some boob tape that is in kind of my flesh shade to lift the sisters when I wear that brown top and I think this works because I bought like oh, I bought these things last time I ordered that they go in the shape of what your areola should look like and then not should look like everyone's boobs look different every areola looks different let's not work on should just telling myself this actually and they're supposed to lift them up um they just haven't worked and I don't think I have heavy boobs because they're, they're really not big anyway phone cases here's my little areola on the floor I got this guy, which I've had on my phone for a while. I've gotten some questions from you guys on Instagram and I wanted to wait for this video because it's really cute. I think this was like 20 Rand, like super affordable. And I was looking at buying a Sonics iPhone case because I had that on my last iPhone. And then obviously when you upgrade and that phone case, I think is like 500 Rand. And then to ship it to South Africa is another 500 Rand or more than 500 Rand. So I was looking at spending like almost one, two on an iPhone case. Mm, not um not about that life so instead i spent a hundred rand on five iphone covers because i think they were 20 rand each so i'm going to pull them out and show them to you i will also link all of them down below everything will be linked down below so that you can go and buy it as well oh my word i have spoken the absolute hind legs off of every donkey that is currently alive that is the end of my she and haul i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you are someone that is mid-size or plus size and you're struggling to buy fashionable, interesting, fun, cool pieces that fit your body and make you feel comfortable, then please don't feel guilty about shopping Shein. I know there are many negative gripes around it, but for me, my mental health, my self-care is important. I want to feel cute and fun and excited to get dressed, especially on the bad days or the down days. And if this is going to help me, I'm doing it. 
People that just say, shop second hand, go and borrow from friends. No, that is definitely the privilege, my friends. It's just second hand stores don't always have your size. And it's like one or two key pieces and it's in the men's section and it doesn't quite fit right. It's a little bit tight. By a little bit, I mean, it is too tight and uncomfortable. So if you can find your size and you can find pieces that make you get excited and that make you feel joy, then bloody will get them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little Shein haul. If you want to see me do more of these, let me know. I'm definitely going to place another order, so it's coming either way. Also, if you want me to do another brand like Fashion Nova or some other brands that I don't really know about, let me know. I'd like to do some more sit down videos and subscribe if you haven't. I will be doing more of these and you'll be seeing all of these in the blogs to come. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.